Hello, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 1st to the 7th of November. This is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Leo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here, Leo, is the Empress. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay, so your challenge here has a lot to do with the Empress. And the Empress is talking about growth. It's talking about nurturing something, growing something, um, being in your energetic feminine energy here with the Empress. We're going to find out what the important message is here for you, Leo, uh, when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Strength, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So, looks like here in the recent past, there was a beautiful brand new opportunity that came into your life. It was directly given to you. I feel like there was a situation here in your life in the recent past, uh, Leo, where... It's like you wanted to give someone an opportunity or maybe you were waiting to receive an opportunity and it really required you to have some form of strength here to get through something to get to it. So it's like you wanted something here in the past and you knew that you had to have the strength within you to receive an opportunity or to give an opportunity. We're going to find out more when we clarify. Now, in the present moment, you have the four of pentacles, you have the six of wands and you have the queen of wands. So it looks like in the present moment, many of you right now are, you know, there's some form of success surrounding you, okay, with the Six of Wands. You've achieved something or you're about to achieve something here. You're really determined here. And I feel like there's an important message for you, Leo, in terms of something here um, that you're doing, okay, that is going to lead to some sort of success. I'm also seeing in the present moment with the Four of Pentacles that someone here, either you or someone that you are connected to, is still energetically holding on to you. This person sees that you're successful and they see that you're doing your thing and this is why you know they they're still very much connected to you okay we're going to find out more when we clarify now in the near future you have the six of cups the two of wands and the high priestess so i feel like in the near future there's someone here there's something here about your past that's showing up in the near future it could be a, a specific person that you have memories with here someone that you've been in separation with for quite some time i feel like you still have some sort of connection to this person even though you may not talk to them or you may not be talking to them in the near future there's still something here that is signaling um a spiritual connection with the high priestess so we're going to clarify more and see what's going on now Leo what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck you have the seven of wands the hanged man the queen of swords the ace of wands the death and the world okay so all in reverse so what this is telling me right away is that for many of you you have uh, I feel like someone here disconnected from you Okay, this person stopped talking to you. They stopped um, taking action towards you. But what I'm also seeing here as well too is, is that a lot of you have unfinished business with this person. Okay, you, you and I both know you still have unfinished business with this person. Something here did not end completely between you and them. I'm also getting that there was an option to have a new, uh, new beginning, a new opportunity that didn't happen. Okay, there's a reason why a new beginning didn't happen for you. And I also feel like a lot of you in the past were really defensive towards this person or you may have pushed this person away okay what you don't see coming is the fact that you're not always going to be in this energy of push pushing this person away i think a lot of you may have pushed this person away for your own personal reasons but that's going to change and i feel like that's something that you're going to change and this person is also eventually going to take action is what it's telling me because the hangman is here in reverse so if there's been stagnation in regards to anything in your life you know that's going to change that stagnation isn't going to um, be there forever uh, but there's also some unfinished business. Okay. And that's why maybe things will finally change and open up for you. So let's get into your reading Leo and let's see what's going on. So 
So let's clarify the Empress, which is your challenge. Okay, so the Empress is clarified by the High Priestess, the Seven of Swords, and the Justice. So your challenge here, Leo, has a lot to do with you overcoming some sort of situation. I feel like there is a situation or there was a situation in your life where someone here did not appreciate you. They took advantage of you. They took what they needed from you and they left. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. A lot of you don't realize that your justice, okay, justice is here, Libra energy is going to be coming in for you. But your challenge here has a lot to do with you being able to finally move past this person who really betrayed you, who really took advantage of you, okay? So there's something here that is difficult for you, Leo, when it comes to identifying why this situation happened to you in the first place. A lot of you feel or you felt that whatever happened to you was not fair. It wasn't in your favor and it wasn't fair. So your challenge here is to overlook, okay, overlook the physical manifestations of this behavior that this person did to you to the spiritual aspects, which is spirit is always looking out for you, okay? Spirit is looking out for those of, for those of you who are interested in expanding your consciousness, which are interested in expanding your ability to move past somebody who did something to you because spirit is saying, don't worry, I got you, justice, okay? So even though you feel like you were treated wrong, spirit is saying, don't worry, you will move past this. And this is your challenge, right? Because the empress is what? All about growth. It's all about nurturing and creating our own creations and that's what a lot of you are trying to do and you know the way what's motivating you to do that leo is the fact that someone here did not appreciate you someone here took advantage of you and something here is going to be set right for you you may not see it being set right but spirit is saying don't worry it will be set right when the time is right okay spirit high priestess and the justice this is spiritual justice Justice card and the high priestess together in conjunction is spiritual justice. So don't allow yourself to be held back because of somebody's behavior towards you. Continue to move towards growth. That's your challenge. Now, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the strength in the recent past. So the strength is clarified by the lovers, the two of swords and the knight of pentacles. So in the recent past, I feel like a lot of you were closed off to a specific relationship because someone here was moving extremely slow towards you. I feel like there was a lot of love between you and this person. It was very flirty, very loving, uh, but somebody here was closed off. Okay, and I feel like this could have been you or your person. And it was due to the fact that someone here was taking their sweet time to finally come towards this opportunity. Whatever this opportunity was in the recent past, Leo, I feel like it was something that was very significant. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles in the recent past for Leo. So the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Death. Yes. So you see something here came to an end and somebody either lost an opportunity or an opportunity was not realized because one, somebody here decided to end things abruptly, or it could have been the fact that someone decided to end things because someone here wasn't moving quick enough. I'm really getting someone here taking their time and not, again, not seeing the value within an opportunity here that was available to them. All right. So this is what I'm seeing here in the past, Leo. Let's talk about the present moment. Now, in the present moment, it looks like with the Queen of Wands, a lot of you have, there's some sort of success that's surrounding you that's going to be coming up. Important message. We're going to clarify this and see what this means for you in a moment. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Tower, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. So right now in the present moment, I feel like a lot of you are still dealing with somebody here that, you know, they're still holding on to you. Okay, there's still a very strong energy here of someone getting over a breakup that happened with you. There could have also been this... Um, 
you know, this experience, and I don't feel like this is you, I feel like it's your person. I feel like this person has really been working on becoming independent, becoming um, better at building something, building their life back. There's something here about building their life back. And I think the breakup that happened between you and them is really affecting this person in the present moment. It's allowing this person to finally do the inner work, which is the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. This person is now facing themselves. And a lot of you are in separation. I'm getting a very strong separation energy because your person is finally doing the work and you're finally doing the work. And that sometimes is required, you know, for a separation. So tell me more about the important message for Leo in the present moment. So the Queen of Wands is clarified by the King of Cups. You have the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Okay. So your important message here right now is to identify who is worth your time. Seven of Wands lately for me, Leo, has been talking about who's worth my time, who's worth my energy, uh, which opportunity is it that I want to take. Some of you are going to be recruiting or bringing on people into your circle to bring forth some sort of growth, okay? And this is why your challenge is the Empress. So important message for you is to be discerning in terms of who and what you're allowing uh, into your energy field, okay? So what is this, uh, this success that's coming in for Leo in the present moment? What is this all about? All right, so the Six of Wands is clarified by the Four of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Wow. So in the present moment, a lot of you are going to be reconciling with someone. I feel like there is a reconciliation that's happening. That's not for all of you, but some of you are wanting that, okay? And part of the separation, part of the, um, you know, I, I'm getting either a disagreement that broke you and this person apart. It's like you're going to be deciding or a lot of you are deciding in the present moment to move into a new direction. And that's one part of your healing. And two, it's part of the process of reconciling. So by you doing the inner work and actually being very discerning in terms of who you allow into your life, um, because you're, you're, you're changing some sort of standard around you, it's changing the energy flow for not only you, but for your person as well too, okay? So it looks like this, this situation, this new direction that you're going to be taking is going to lead to a lot of healing, success, and a possible reconciliation. Now let's talk about the near future. In the near future, I do see someone here from the past possibly showing up with the, uh, the Six of Cups. We're going to find out more about this person in a moment. Now let's clarify the Two of Wands. What is the Two of Wands all about for Leo in the near future? All right, so the Two of Wands is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So I'm seeing here in the near future that a lot of you are going to be um, receiving some sort of offer, okay? I'm getting a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, uh, maybe a Leo Sagittarius Aries, could also be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Aquarius Libra Gemini. All signs are here. But ultimately what I'm seeing here is, is that you are going to possibly come out of a separation with someone because they're going to approach you. Something changes within you and something changes within this person. So because those changes are finally happening, I feel like in the near future, a lot of you are finally going to be receiving some sort of offer um, after some sort of ending. It's like somebody here is deciding to put behind them some sort of ending. Now let's clarify the Six of Cups. Who, what is this... What is this person here from the past? Who is this? Okay, so the Six of Cups is clarified by the Devil, the Three of Swords, and the Moon. So I'm really getting here, Leo, that a lot of you are still attached to somebody here from your past in the near future, okay? Uh, there's a lot of unresolved issues that this person has, and I feel like the reason why this person may decide to eventually come back around to you could be the first week of December or the second week. I feel like November is going to be, especially the first week of November, it's like, you're doing the work, your person's doing the work, but in the near future, it looks like this person is still hurt and they're having a difficult time expressing that to you. They're having a difficult time expressing to you how much um, this breakup caused them pain, okay? And there's still an attachment here again with the devil. So tell me more about the high priestess in the near future for Leo.
Okay, so the High Priestess is clarified by the Empress, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. So it looks like in the near future that a lot of you are going to have a lot of options when it comes to love, when it comes to jobs, when it comes to opportunities. And your challenge is the Empress and it's showing up in the near future. So what Spirit is saying is, is that if you put in the work, Leo, you're going to have so many options. So whether you want to be with this person that you separated from or you disconnected from is going to be your decision. It's going to be your choice. I don't see this person letting you go energetically anytime soon in the near future. Uh, so I see you working. I see you working. I see you developing something. You're growing something. And that's going to lead to a lot of options and opportunities for you. So let's get some advice. What is the advice for Leo? The advice here for you is the page of wands, the two of cups and the knight of wands. Your advice here is to prepare yourself to move into a brand new direction. I feel like there is going to be a significant life changing event that happens for you, Leo, when it comes to love. There's somebody here that you have a really strong connection to. And your advice here is, is to move forward with this person and do it quickly. Do it fast and do it quickly and start um to move into a new direction do not allow someone here from your past or someone here who did not value you to hold you back from this because right now your energy leo is all about growth that's what it's about empress here twice in your reading if it's not about growth then why bother so your advice here is is to focus on growth focus on planning and making plans to move into a new direction um which involves a love relationship, a love connection that, you know, you're coming together with someone here. Okay. So time to move into a new direction is your advice. So this is what I have for you, Leo. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.